So I first learned about the scholarship through my guidance counselor, Miss Erica Chirinos, and this was way back in sophomore year when she started to really urge my class to volunteer for community, you know, just do community service in general and to also start studying for the ACT, SAT. So I went one day to her office to ask about just in general any scholarships because I mean, as a high school student, I want to obviously go to college and my dream is to become a doctor one day. And so I was really looking forward to finding as many scholarships as possible, especially merit-based. And so that's how I found out. She told me about the Bright Futures and what's great about it is that every year it renews itself because you have to maintain a certain GPA in college. So that's what I really liked about it. And it's just completely merit-based. It's not financial-based and it's open to any student pretty much. I earned it through high school through volunteering at my local hospital. I volunteered at Advent Health for, I would say, at least three months uh, last year. And I also volunteered prior to that at the North Branch Library in Sanford for around one and a half years. And so that's why I built, I built up my one, over 100 hours for the Florida Bright Future Scholarship. And in addition to that, I also took the ACT, I would say around five times, just so I can get that score. I was really happy and very proud of myself. I, I've worked really hard, obviously, to get the scholarship. I know that it's, it requires a lot of hard work because it does cover the tuition aspect. And overall, just a lot of emotions. I was proud, I was happy, I was rejoicing. I was really just very emotional. I told my parents about it first because when I found out they were there and so they were very happy because obviously receiving the scholarship it's less for them to pay for college and it really helps and it just they were very very happy very thankful that I worked hard and that I studied every night for the ACT and just volunteered on days that other people would probably go to the beach and all that. I would definitely tell them to look into it because it's such a great scholarship and it doesn't require any out of this world talent or ability to get it. You All you have to do is to just, even if you volunteer 70 hours or if you get anything below, uh, let's say the highest SAT score, ACT score, which is a 29 or I believe a 1350, you can still get the Florida Medallion Scholars. And that really helps because it pays 75%. And so I would tell them that, hey, you don't have to go out of this world, you know, overwork yourself. You can still get something from it because they have many different levels. So I would definitely encourage them to look into it. Well, I am attending UCF in the fall and I'm very excited. And the scholarship definitely helps. And when I received my package, it, it, it broke it down for me, like this is how much you, um, you're gonna receive per semester from the scholarship and all that. And so I'm just really excited to start. And it's, I, I don't think my freshman year will be perfect because there's obviously gonna be ups and downs, but I will learn from those and just try to apply what I learned throughout the rest of my years in college. In the future, I'm going to look back, obviously, and realize that the money that I earned from my, uh, acad you know, my academic achievements and my volunteering helped in a way that, because I want to become a doctor in the future, and so any, just the money that I save now will obviously help me for med school, because med school is really, it's, it's really expensive. And so in the future, hopefully, I'll be a doctor, and I'll look back, and I'll just realize that, hey, you know, I did a good job. I saved money to, uh, for med school because that money for tuition, let's say I have to pay 100% for college, that money that I do save, I can at least apply it to med school and those finances or any other expense that comes up. It really hasn't come up in conversation, partly because I'm in the IB program and a lot of students, they have the scholarship, but I do have teachers who are relatively young. They're not the older teachers are in their 30s or 25, and they've told me that when they were in college, they took out a bunch of loans, and they didn't realize 
that those loans would haunt them back in the future. And so they really urge us, to, especially me and all the students who they talk to about college in general, they urge us to find as many scholarships as possible and to just apply to anything that we think we'll, we're, we're best fit for. And so that's what I really take away from that. I, I just try to find any scholarship that I can, mostly the ones that are academic, that have, um, that are academically based because financial, there's always someone who will need it more than let's say me or someone else. And those, it's a big factor when the panel, like let's say they decide who's gonna get the scholarship. So the academic ones are easier to, well, at least for me, they're easier in the sense that it's just gonna look at my academics and my achievements and that's it. I'm gonna try to do my best in college. I'm going to, for example, if I have to study for something really hard just to get, let's say, an A or a B, I'm definitely going to do that. I'm not going to slack off. Um, what I, how I do in college will definitely impact my chances of getting into a med school, and so it's very important to me to maintain that grade point average. So I feel that, I mean, I feel that meeting the requirements year to year, it, it's not going to be that difficult for me because I'm very motivated. Because in order, I mean, you know, it's going to play out hey, you know, how I do in college is going to affect my medical school chances. And then also the scholarship, you know, you know, just that renewing. So it's not going to be too hard. I'm not going to college to party. I'm going to college to learn and to do my best. So it, I'm, I'm not too worried about it. But life happens and you never know. So that's why I'm trying to always when you make plans, they, you have to change them. They get ruined or whatever. But I'm pretty sure... I'll do good. Click here to learn more about Florida's Bright Futures Scholarship Program.